Hi guys, I came to the Beverly Center. I don't know if you can even hear me, but I came to the Beverly Center to the Louis Vuitton to pick something up and I also want to check out a few other items. It's a little loud in this mall, but I'm gonna try to vlog to show you guys everything. I also wanted to film a shopping with me, so we're gonna do that. And I only brought my phone because my camera was charging, but you guys know I haven't really liked vlogging with my camera lately, so yeah, I'll bring you guys along with me. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this mall, but because it is indoors, I'm gonna try to do this fast, and hopefully I have some space in Louis Vuitton so people are not too close to me. Um, I really hate when people are like super adamant about like being right next to you, so it's kind of annoying. I gotta go up another set of stairs, or just like up the escalator. This mall is pretty big actually. So I have to wait here for 20 minutes because they don't open until 11, so I didn't know. I thought they opened at 10 and I was literally gonna come here at 10, so good thing I came later. Um, I'm gonna be waiting for a while. So don't mind the music, but this is the Lockheed BB. It's pretty long. But it is a crossbody. I'm just like obsessed with the pink and monogram. Like I think it's so cute. Um, wow. You can just carry it as a top handle. That one's super cute. It still has like the stickers and everything on it. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a few of the bags that they had in stock at this location. I don't really frequent this place too often, so I didn't really know the layout too much, but I went ahead and looked at this card holder. I think it's so adorable. I think this is such a great starter piece to get yourself familiarized with Louis Vuitton's leather, especially the Empreon, because that's the print that it's in. It's a more embossed print, and so I really like that. And then I was taking a look at this bag. A subby actually asked me to try it on because I think we're the same height, and I do like it, but I felt like the corners were similar to the cosmetic pouch and that I did not like because those corners can get worn so easily. Here are a few SLGs that they had laying out and these were just like kind of in the window you know just so you can see like the little window casings and I just thought it was super cute. I saw the Zoe wallet as well. I thought that the Zoe wallet was a little bit too similar to the Victorine and if I want something to put my bills in I just kind of opt for the Victorine so I really just prefer that one. Next I wanted to take a look at the on the go tote. You guys know this was actually in my wish list and my wish list has completely changed and it's so funny because everything in that video I'm kind of like why did I even think that I wanted those items but I wanted to find the items for you guys that I was showing and just kind of let you guys know how much it was and the as well as the SKU number if you guys were interested in purchasing any of them. The Boit Chapeau, I think that's how you pronounce it, is so cute. Look at these. Ampriant. I'm obsessed. And then I also took a look at these bags. I honestly was just looking around. I wanted to see if there was a style that I liked, maybe something a little bit better than what I got, but I'm really happy with what I got. So you guys will see that in the next video. I will film an unboxing so you guys can see all of that. I also took a look at the twist. I believe this is the MM size. And then this Dauphine backpack, you guys, I am so in love with it, but you guys know I'm not really a backpack person, but I love how this looks handheld. So I went ahead and tried it on so you guys can see. I think this backpack is just different because it's leather lined and I really like that it has the monogram as well as the reverse. I think it just makes it really versatile and it honestly wasn't sticking out too much and it wasn't too chunky or anything. So I was, I don't know if I really want this one or if I want to save and again repair another mm because i know that i said i didn't really like it but the more that i see them the more that i like them and i honestly don't regret anything that i did in the past as far as selling bags or whatever but i feel like i'm really liking this style now and it's very similar to the monsterie backpack mm so we'll see if i end up picking another one up i'm really not sure like i always go back and forth on these decisions and you know i'm still learning i'm barely purchasing luxury items so yeah i wanted to take a look at the clochette for this because it looks a little bit too bumpy i would not recommend you purchase one that looks like this because there are some that are a little bit smoother and for my alma bb that i purchased in amsterdam it does not have that so definitely try to find one that's a little bit more smooth 
and then i was just looking around i also saw the nice bb this one is also made in italy i told you guys that this piece is only made in italy and then the manager actually came up to me and told me to turn my phone off so i'll talk about that a little bit later but i wanted to show you guys some of the shoes that they had the same ones they had like a monogram ballet flat which i thought was really interesting some jewelry i am obsessed with their jewelry but i refuse to pay that amount because i can get real jewelry for that these are just costume i believe some more fine jewelry here were some of their really cute slgs i think it's cute but i don't know here were some more shoes and sandals i love the sandals i think they're so cute and then i went ahead and just left with my bags per use Hi guys, so I wanted to kind of explain to you what happened at Louis Vuitton. The manager basically told me to stop filming because I was filming myself like trying on the bags and everything and I honestly didn't think that it was a problem because they didn't say anything when I went when I did that at Rodeo Drive and I tried on quite a few bags and I don't know, I don't oh my god, they like emptied out this MCM. I think they're you guys see that? <laughs> um hold on. So anyway, I was I was trying on like stuff in there and she came up to me and she was like, you can't take video of anything and I really could not figure out like why she didn't want me to film, but I was like, whatever. So I stopped filming and then I just like started taking photos because the CA there told me that I could take photos and I, I got my bag, you guys will see what it is soon, but um, I got my bag from a CA that I saw on Instagram. I texted her because she has her number on her profile. And I was like, hey, can I get this bag or whatever? So I had to come here to pick it up, but I don't really frequent this place and I don't really like this mall too much because it's just too, I don't know, I just don't like it. I prefer the malls that are closer to my house, like Century City and Rodeo Drive. That's like my two favorite. And then South Coast, South Coast just looks better. Like, I don't know, I don't really like this one. Um, I've never liked this mall, in fact. But yeah, I think I have to go to Sephora to get some products, but I'm considering to just like order it online because I just like don't really want to be here. Yeah, I think I should do that. Mm, where would they do pick up though? I think it's at Valet downstairs. And I don't think Sephora has test like testers out either, so I want to see like what's up with that. Obviously, because like people can't be touching stuff and like doing all of that, but I'm trying to think of like what I needed in person right away. Because the thing is, I don't get free shipping from Sephora. I'm just like a beauty insider, like I'm not a Rouge member or anything or like VIP. I think I was VIB, but then I stopped. I told you guys I stopped buying makeup. Mm, I think I should just go home and like cook something. I want to make kimchi stew, so I should just do that. I don't need anything immediately, so let's go and do that. My bag is this one. I'm wearing my Speedy B25. I guess we'll head out because I have nothing else to do here. I did put so I did purchase a few things from Express online, so I'll show you guys that. They gifted me a gift card, so I will show you guys like everything that I got, which is really cool. I was considering only doing my makeup like from here down, but you can like see the sides and everything. I don't know. Anyway, let's go. Bye. <laughs> this is my situation right now. I just got home. I'm gonna upload this vlog right now. I just have to do a few more like little edits here and there. For this, I need to add this bottom section and then we're ready to go. I think um, my boyfriend and I are gonna go for a drive somewhere so I'll bring you guys along as well. Hi guys! I wanted to show you my outfit because I didn't show you guys this morning but I also love this purse. This one's the one that I've been using for a little bit and I just love it so much because it holds everything, but it still looks kind of small, in my opinion. And then I have on my Supergas. I know that you guys asked me about the sizing. I went a whole size down in European sizes, so I think it just depends like on your foot size. I mean, this one's perfect for me, but like my pinky toe feels a little squished on this side, but this one it doesn't, so... I honestly like don't know, like you'll have to try it on in stores, but my boyfriend told me about these shoes and I just love them so much. They're like my favorite that I got like so many pairs. So we're gonna go grab something to eat and I will see you guys later. Bye! We ended up coming to Malibu. I came to John's Garden to get a Chinese chicken salad. And we're gonna eat it in the car because I'm like terrified to be out. <laughs> I mean, it's outdoors, but I would still rather just eat in the car. Oh, I see someone with the dummy, you'd be never full. 
it's been like it's so rare that i see like designer bags nowadays i don't know why maybe people just don't feel comfortable wearing them but i don't know i like mine <laughs> so i'm just waiting for my salad i'll show it to you guys in the car i might get a pellegrino but i feel like it'll be a waste of calories so maybe not <laughs> This is my Chinese chicken salad. It doesn't look exciting here, but trust me, it is so good. I really like it. This is a sauce with it. I think it's like a sesame seed oil sauce. And then I got this tea to drink with it. Ooh la long. I don't know if it's a ooh long, but I think it is. Sanitizer on, it's not good for you. <laughs> He's looking at me like, How dare you throw that? <laughs> this is his new toy. What? What? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Oh, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Kyrie just did my lashes. They look amazing per usual. We did a doll eye and it looks so good. I love it. Mm.
So this one is a lizard skin. So pretty. LV twist. I don't really like epi leather, so not my favorite. They have capucines in here, but I don't really want to try them on right now because I already did. Boy, supple. So pretty. Oh my god, look at this one. Oh wow. Like an iridescent color. That's so pretty. They have a nice BB up there. Nice mini. Let me show you this one, my favorite piece that we have here. It's a jewelry pouch. Hi guys, I'm just here with Miss Luna. She's sleeping. Um, I have some work to do for today. I wanted to edit, but I do have a Zoom meeting that I have to get on and I did film my unboxing videos. There'll be two videos up so you guys can see that. One of the SLGs I did just featured in one of them. I also have another item coming up that I told you guys about in the video, but you guys will see that once it goes live. I don't really have anything else for this vlog. I just wanted to bring you guys along with me and shopping and I don't think we're gonna go out to eat because my boyfriend got a delivery from, it's a place called Ugly Something. It has like pastrami, but let me look it up actually. Oh, it's a place called Ugly Drum and they're in downtown LA and they delivered pastrami and supposedly it's like the best ever. It was really good, but I wasn't really hungry yesterday. I also skipped my workout yesterday, so that's like the only day I can skip today because I chose yesterday to not do it, which was bad, but I feel like it's really throwing me off with the lighting because when it's 8 p.m., it's still daylight outside, so it's crazy. It just seems so weird. But yeah, I have these two perfume samples that I asked for at Louis Vuitton because I wanted to try this scent out. It's like their signature scent. And to me, this is what I smell when I go into Louis Vuitton. Like I always smell this fragrance and I'm thinking about purchasing it, but let me know if you guys have it. There are also other ones that I've been looking at. So um, I want to get other samples just to kind of compare them all together but so far this one is my favorite we as far as like traveling and stuff we were thinking of going to cabo in august and just staying at the hotel and we're gonna go to we were gonna go to esperanza because we weren't able to do our anniversary trip four years anniversary so crazy but we weren't able to do that so i'm glad i have like a little bit more time to work out and get into shit i mean i'm like not fat by any means i know that i'm not fat but i feel like i could definitely improve in tone in certain areas so when i say like i'm losing trying to lose weight and all that stuff i'm not like saying that i'm fat i'm just saying that i feel like i'm not at my best toned shape so yes you guys won't be seeing any more unboxings um after these unboxings that you guys see actually one just one more because i'm waiting for an item from one of my friends and so but that's pretty much it. That's like done deal. Yeah, because I've been I've just been wanting like staple pieces in my collection and I feel like I finally have it and I'm happy. So I don't think that I'm going to be purchasing anything until probably Christmas or my birthday. I did get a question on whether I use credit cards and I think that's like a weird question to ask someone, but I don't use credit cards for any luxury purchases. I only use it for gas if I get a rental or for business stuff. Um, I also use it for dining out if we are, if we can get like cash back on like dining out, I do that. But otherwise I don't ever use credit for uh, luxury goods. I just think it's so silly. And if I get like a refund, I don't want it to go back on a credit card. Like I want it to go back on my debit card or like cash. So I prefer to either pay cash or on my debit. So yeah, I think that's kind of like a weird question to ask someone. It's like a little personal, but I don't, I mean, I'm answering it here, so yeah. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog once again. I have to get back to work because I have 15 minutes until I have to get ready for the Zoom meeting. So yes, I also got my lashes done. I don't know if you guys can see that. 
but I love them so much. The first day, my eyes are like a little puffy, so they might look a little like swollen, as you can see like down here. They're a little bit swollen, but um, it will get better as the week goes on, so yeah. Um, anyway, I will see you guys in my next vlog or an unboxing. One of those, I don't know what's gonna come first, but yeah, I'll see you guys then, bye.